This is Jack Fishman behind the camera with San Antonio Symphony bassist David Milburn, who just returned from Sydney, Australia, where he performed for a week with the YouTube Symphony Orchestra. David, what was the YouTube Symphony Orchestra like? Oh, it was it was absolutely amazing. We were treated like rock stars for a week. I mean, it was the way classical music should be. His classical music was just front and center. Um, let's see, they they put all these projections on the opera house so people from outside could actually watch the show. Did they amplify the music outside? They did. They had amplifiers, they had screens, screens of what was going on inside the opera house too. So it was the first time they'd ever done that. They had to get a helicopter, fly around the opera house just to get the dimensions because it was so complicated with the projections. But it just, it went fast. It, I mean, it was just a splendid concert. Now you can see the concert on youtube.com slash symphony. I watched a lot of it. And there was also projections inside. Yes. Did that make it hard to play with all these projections going no, on? No, it was just so exciting. I mean, the, maybe the, the first time they did it, it was kind of like everyone's just kind of looking around, you know, not, not really paying attention. But I mean, by the concert, by the time the concert came, it was just, it was just so much energy. I think everyone was, was just ready to go. Now, who was the audience for this? Was it a normal audience just from Sydney, or was it a special crowd? It was, yeah, it was people just from Sydney. But the actual, the live stream actually broke a record. It was actually a historical concert for most hits in a live stream in YouTube history. So there was over 30 million people on their computers that watched it, and 2 million people from their mobile devices. So I think the, uh, it, the, the record, the previous record holder was U2. So Bono ended up number two. In this wow, way. that's impressive. Now, the orchestra was made up of musicians from all around the world, right? Mm -hmm. What kind of folks did you meet? Oh, I just, I met people from South America. I mean, I think there was 40, 40 of the 101 were from America or from the United States. Um, I mean, I'd say a good 20% of the orchestra couldn't speak English, you know, so it was, it was interesting just how, how well we could make music without actually communicating, you know, you know, via our language, you know, so. And Michael Tilson Thomas only rehearsed in English? He didn't have translators? No, no, so. Now how about getting your bass to Australia? How did you manage that? Luckily, they had basses there for us. I, I actually got to use a bass from the principal of the Sydney Symphony. I got to use his bass, thankfully, so I didn't have to worry about the hassle. Of As you know, I mean, it's, it's a hassle, so. Yeah, you have to have a trunk and uh -huh. it could get down yeah. here. And in addition to rehearsing and playing, what else went on that week? Oh, let's see, I went, to, I went to Bondi Beach, it was fun. They had all sorts of parties for us. Um, we were staying at the Four Seasons, so we had these amazing dinners. Um, this is all paid for by Google, all right? Paid for, yeah. yeah. They gave us phones, so we actually, I mean, because that was the whole point of the project, was just to get, just to get, see how far this digital media could take us for a classical music concert. So one of the rehearsals, we put our phones up on our music stand and recorded us while we were playing in the middle of the rehearsal, which is something you couldn't do in a professional orchestra because of all the, you know, regulations and, and such but I mean that was the whole point of it so it was really exciting. Do you think there'll be repercussions meaning do you think this will get copied by regular orchestras? I hope so I really do because I it just it just got so it just brings so much exposure to classical music that's that's not there before you know and I can see how someone maybe like Prince would be oh I don't want my music online you know because he's a multi multi-millionaire but I think for this the exposure is going to bring nothing but good things. Well, I hope everyone goes to youtube.com slash symphony, watches you play, yes. and gets to experience some of that video, yeah. and, uh, and we appreciate you taking the time sure. to talk to us, and we'll all go watch the video. Yeah, they, they actually, they didn't show the basses too much, so if you want to see me, you have to go to the Britain bass variation, which is uh, right before the, the intermission, so they didn't show the basses much, of course, you know, but, but yeah, please check it out, youtube.com slash symphony. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.